Um, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I just want to start off by saying I'm really sorry. It's been a little while. I work in the medical industry, and as you can imagine, right now it has been very, very stressful for us. Um, also, I was editing the last two videos, and that backdrop full of bricks was giving me anxiety so I didn't want to do anything until I had that sorted <laughs> so it's something I guess it's not perfect but it will do I forgot what part I was up to before my camera died so we're just going to start it and marry the clips together I guess I can't believe Deborah wants us to teach her how to ride I know I thought she hated horses she must really like Max a lot it's so romantic. It kind of is because I wouldn't be changing my personality for anyone. Like if I started dating a footballer, I wouldn't be going to games. I wouldn't go to the brown law. I wouldn't be a wag. So I think it's nice that Deborah loves someone so much that she's willing to change. She's willing to face her fears and change her personality, change her lifestyle because I certainly wouldn't be changing. I'm me. I'm not changing for that. You either like me, you hate me. I'm... I'm not going to change for a football or a cricketer or a celebrity or whatnot. I'm going to be who I am, so I don't expect me to, you know, change. It's going to be hard to keep it a secret, though. I mean, don't you think Max will notice if Deborah comes galloping by on this horse? In all honesty, I don't think Max has time to check every single arena. Like, we've seen Pine Hollow, it's a busy, it's a big, busy place. Max ain't looking at every single arena every single padding like he's I don't think he's got the time to notice that really in my personal opinion I don't think we're gonna start with galloping Stevie and I don't think we should make her ride with her eyes closed either riding with your eyes closed is actually a really good thing for me like my instructors taught me to ride my eyes closed um because you know when you start to ride you ride on the lunge and riding with your eyes closed really t um helps you to put trust in your horse so riding with your eyes closed isn't a bad thing that have just made it negative by the way children were teaching children how to ride but riding with your eyes closed um, increases confidence balance and trust all i learned from that was how to follow my head i think we figured out how not to teach when we were helping you out lisa <laughs> oh hi girls lisa i've invited that nice girl from the stables to come and stay while her parents are away i love how they're confused like you know we have a nice girl at the stables it's like there are other people at the stables which I'm sure have a nice personality. You don't need to act confused. Wait, well, there's another girl at the stables? Who's this other nice girl? You know, you don't need to act that confused. So, tidy up the room, please, darling. What girl? Veronica D'Angelo. She's coming to stay for a week. No way. In all honesty, I don't think Lisa told her mum that she's no longer friends with Veronica. So how was her mum to know, like... As far as she was aware, she was still besties with Veronica. She never told them otherwise. Any other friends? You two can camp out on the floor. Thank you, Mrs Atwood. You're welcome, dear. What are you doing? You don't seriously think I'd sleep on the floor? Veronica and I definitely, I don't even know how to put this in words, like when I go over to people's house, the bedroom is like a very personal spot. I don't like sitting on other people's beds, like I'm very germatic, I don't know if that's because I work in the medical industry and I come across a lot of germs every day. But she's got a lot of guts just to sit on someone's bed where their head's been, their body's been, like to me I don't like touching other people's personal spaces um but that's that's honestly just me can i sleep over in your room too never mind wow well at least you're an amazing pest repellent it's amazing how nerdiness runs in the family how's it going i thought you'd never get here When's Deborah's first lesson? Shh, it's supposed to be a surprise for Max, remember? No one's supposed to know. I can hear you, you know. This is a private conversation? 
Like I care about your secret saddle club meeting. I'm pretty sure there's more than one room in the house. Just go in the lounge room or something. You don't have to be in the bedroom. Please. Maybe we should go somewhere where we can talk alone. I wish. My mum says I'm not allowed to go anywhere without my house guest. Why doesn't your mum go with her? She's the one who invited her over. <laughs> That's something I'd say to my mum because she's always like, why aren't you hanging out with your friends? Why don't you invite your friends over? I'm just like, would you like to hang out with them? Would you like to talk to them? Like, sometimes I just, I see people so often every day that I just want my own personal space. That reminds me of my mum when she's just like, you know, invite your friends over. Why don't you have a gathering? I'm just like, why don't you hang out with my friends if you want to see them that badly? Can you wake her up? I really need to talk to her. Please, Mrs. Kavanaugh, it's really important. Okay, fine. No, just tell Christy I'll talk to her tomorrow. I wish Max would kick Veronica out of Pine Hollow. All she cares about is flirting with Phil and showing off her expensive new riding clothes. I don't think she even cares about riding or about her horse, Garnet. No wonder everyone at the stables hates her. That would be really hurtful to hear because like, she knows all the stuff about her is true. But to hear the words, everybody hates you, it breaks her heart. So I can understand that she would feel very upset and angry and want to hurt other people back for hearing something like that happen to her. <clears throat> Looks like I'm not the only one, huh, Lisa? in the riding ring, Max is going to see her for sure. Maybe we should take her out on the trail. I mean, she has to get off the lunge line sometime. You just hate it when Carol's such a know-it-all, don't you, Lisa? What? It drives you crazy when, and I quote, Carol thinks she knows everything and she doesn't let anyone else have a say. I don't know and what you're- Stevie's you're... too impatient. And what was that other word you used? Oh yeah, insensitive. Right, Lisa? Nice try, Veronica. Like Lisa would ever say that about us. You read my diary? You did write that stuff about us? Is that what you really think? I don't know why the guys are angry about it because, like, my friends have told me that they think I'm crazy. I don't have the filter between the brain and the mouth. You know, they've said all this stuff to me that if I was to see it written down, it wouldn't be hurtful. And Lisa obviously wrote this stuff down when they fell in, down the mine shaft. Because those things happened. Carol thought she knew everything and Stevie was insensitive and made sure that her voice was heard. You know, she has made it very clear that that stuff is true about them. So I don't know how, you know, she has said that and they have apologised. You know, I am a know-it-all, sometimes it just happens. I'm insensitive, sometimes I just don't think about myself. Like, they know Lisa thinks that about them because they have said it to her face. So I don't know how it's so hurtful to them to hear it written down. No! I mean, I wrote it in my diary, but no one was supposed to read it. It's private and- Sure. But I didn't mean it. Yes, you did. You just didn't think we'd ever find out. That's the thing that I hate is um, when people do find out about things, you know, when you find someone's been bitching behind your back and they come up and they say, oh, I'm sorry. It's like, no, you're not sorry. You're sorry I found out. And that's kind of like in that situation, you know, she's not sorry. She's sorry they found out. I didn't mean it. I was probably just in a bad mood when I wrote that stuff. Tell Carol. I'm probably too insensitive to understand. Stevie, she can't tell me. I'm too much of a know-it-all. You 
ready to go? Your mum's waiting for us in the yard. So her mum was going to come pick her up before Deborah's riding lesson. Like, wouldn't she have told her mum I'm staying back a little later today? Like, this has happened in, like, a matter of a few minutes. She wouldn't have time to call her mum to be like, change your plans and going home early today. So, was she always planning to leave Stevie and Carol to teach Deborah today by herself? Where's Lisa? She was my personal cheerleader. <laughs> I think she's busy. Keep your heels deep. That'll help your balance. And don't look down. Every single one of my instructors told me that where you look is where you'll end up. Horse riding, driving, everything you do, bike riding, where you look is where you'll end up. So if you want to end up on the ground, look at the ground. If you want to head straight ahead, look straight ahead. This is going to take forever. No, it's not. But I don't think they got them. <sighs> yes, I would. Tell them to call me and tell them it's urgent. Ever heard of a little privacy? Like when you read my diary? Ain't that ironic. This is still my room. It's not my problem you don't have anywhere else to go. That is the world's longest hair ribbon like. Did you once have hair like Rapunzel? Until your parents pick you up. You stay on your side, and I'll stay on mine. Got it? You are so fake. You're the one pretending to be everyone's best friend and then writing about them behind their back. To be fair, with every person, with anyone you meet, you're going to hate something about them, you're going to like something about them. You're not going to love everything about one person. There are going to be things you hate about them. And like you would have told them about them. <laughs> That's called making a scene, you know, not leaving until she sees you so you can still say that you're angry about them. So that you're angry with her. Your mum told me that Veronica's parents didn't even bring her to the door when they dropped her off. And they haven't called once to see how she's doing. I know. And you've made it pretty clear there's no room in your house for her, or in your friendship with the saddle club. It's a bit weird that Lisa's mum and Mrs. Reg communicate quite a bit. Not very comfortable shoes to walk in, are they? You have to get better right now. I don't care if you have strep throat. Anything's better than staying with Lisa. Wait, don't go. Christy... She's not feeling better, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but you're stuck with me. Veronica! Look, I'm sorry we haven't been getting along, okay? I don't like you. You don't like me. Why would we get along? I know, but I guess I kind of know how you feel. I mean, my two best friends aren't speaking to me right now, and I don't have anyone to talk to. I never asked. I'm sure there's more than two girls at the stable that you communicate with. Asked to be dumped at your house for a week. And you and your precious little saddle clubs. I know. We totally left you out. So. To be fair, you're the one who tried to kill Stevie, so they're the ones who have a right to be angry with you. That stuff before I say it. And it comes out insensitive. Yeah. I mean, if I hadn't said that comment yesterday, Deborah never would have quit. She quit because I was being such a know-it-all. Hi. 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 Why are you giving her the cold shoulder? You pretty much just admitted that she was right. Don't you want to go apologize to her and be like, sorry? Do you guys have a second? There's something I have to show you. I thought you should see for yourself what else I wrote about you. I didn't say you were. So, this has either happened in two ways. One, Lisa brought her diary with her, seeming she doesn't trust people at home. Or two, she went home to get her diary to come show Stevie and Carol. I can't believe you apologised to her. She read your diary. <laughs> I... Yeah, but well, in life you gotta forgive people. There's no point holding on to grudges for the rest of your life. You gotta 
move ahead with people or you just get left behind. I know, this sounds weird, but under all those designer clothes, I think she might actually be a human being. I have been looking everywhere for you guys. And this was the last place you looked. If you guys aren't busy right now, I'd really like to give those <coughs> writing lessons one more try. Well, it's a, a special occasion. <laughs> oh yeah, what are we celebrating? It depends. You are my best friend. You're my greatest supporter. My soulmate. I want to sit across the breakfast table from you every morning for the rest of my life. Yep. I know that I may not be the horsewoman of your dreams, but I also know I can't imagine my life without you. Will you marry me? I always wonder, like, when the woman marries, proposes to the man, it's because she has doubts that the man won't propose back. But I, I can see it from her perspective that she wants to make the first move in this, showing that she's got guts and that she's willing to overcome anything to be with him. Only if you marry me back. you first. Wow, I guess those writing lessons really did pay off. <laughs> well, I don't think he's marrying me for my equestrian skills. At least I hope not. And if he is, he's going to be sadly disappointed. <laughs> no, you were writing really well. Yeah, we can keep teaching you if you want. Mm, thanks, guys. But I think next time I might try something just a little bit less scary. Maybe skydiving? <laughs> <laughs> I have had people say that before, like trying something simple and going, oh, I might try skydiving. <laughs> Less scarier. Um, but another episode done and dusted. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also please do subscribe for more. Also, please sign a petition. I ha will have linked in the description below and my curtains fell and I had no idea. Jeez. I need to get more. <laughs> I wonder when that happened. <laughs> uh, so please sign the petition that I will have linked in the description box. I'm trying to get the unreleased music from season 2 and 3 released and I can't do that without your help and your voice and your gusto with me. Thank you for all your support and I will see you next time in the next episode. Bye guys!